Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video, I want to go through and see how Neutron deals with actually analyzing some guitar EQ and compression compared to what I would do. Now I've been trying out Neutron for quite some time or from Isotope and one of the things I've noticed is that it doesn't necessarily EQ the way that I think it should do. So I'm going to do an A-B test with my EQ and Neutron's EQ and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you tell me what you think is the better out of the two of them. So let's take a look at doing that right now. So to start this test, I'm going to play back the audio for the guitars left and right that I've gone through and applied EQ to. Now these are using virtual instruments. I'm using uh, the TSE 808, the LE456 Amp Sim and the Mercurial Cab 3 along with the U530 uh, Amp Sim on the second track. So other than that, I've just got an instance of re-EQ on both tracks EQ'd for the specific sound that I have coming through from the amp sim. So if I open that up, you can see there's the first for the guitar left and then the guitar right. So you can see they're almost identical. There's just a slight variation in the scoops that I've got around the sort of 2 to 3k mark, which I tend to find are the fuzzy areas for distorted guitar. So I'll always tend to EQ that kind of frequency range out. And you can see I've got a, a roll off around the sort of 50 hertz mark, a slow roll off, just to get rid of any low end that might be coming through from the sort of chugs and things in there. So other than that, there's no compressor or anything on it. It is literally just those two EQs. So I'm going to play that guitar track back now, just the guitars left and right. The audio is nothing special, but I want you to listen to that and then I'm going to put Neutron, I'm going to run the assistant on there and I'm going to see what that comes back with and how it differs from the EQ that I would apply and then we'll just have a listen to that to see which you think is the best out of the two. So this is the audio with my EQ applied to it, so I just listen to it to that. Okay, so that's my EQ'd version. So what I'm going to do now is just open Neutron up and I'm going to let that do a track assistant on there and just analyze the audio. I've done two on this. Now, normally I might just run this on the master bus, but because we've got two different guitar tones in there, I wanted Neutron to have the best chance of analyzing each one independently and come back with what it considers to be the best starting point or result for that. So let's open up the Neutron for the second uh, guitar version. So I'm just going to solo that. I'm going to mute the other tracks get rid of any muting on there and we'll just solo that so this is the unaltered audio so this is no eq just neutron on there but not actually engaged doing anything okay so let's have a listen to that So the first thing you can definitely hear on there without the EQ is the fact that there's there's a lot more low end sitting in there which kind of just muddied up the low end of the mix. So I kind of, that's why I'd EQ that out. So let's have a look, let's open Neutron up on the left guitar and let's just let that analyze that section first of all. So just move that out of the way and I'll just solo the left guitar. So we've only got that on there now, so let's have a listen to that. The track okay, so there's the first lot of EQ on there. You can see it's kind of mirrored my roll off around about the 50 hertz kind of mark. A little bit sharper maybe than mine. We've got a dynamic dip at... Um, probably about seven to eight thousand k on there, so you can see it's already different to mine. Now I know we've got the compressor and the exciter on there, and what I'll do is I'll turn those off, so we are just listening to the EQ, nothing more. I'll put those back on later on. So let's move that one out of the way, and let's pull up the second one now for the right track. So let's open Neutron up on there, and let's just do the same again. Let's just run that track, run the track assist on there, and see what it comes up with. And 
again, we can see it's come up with a very, very similar EQ curve. So let's bring the two of them in. So we can see we've got almost identical. So it's not really analyzing and taking a look at the differences in the guitar tone. It's literally just going through. And well, as we can see, EQ and almost identical. The only one that's sort of slightly real in real difference on there is around the sort of 300 hertz mark compared to the 200 hertz mark. So again, let's just disable the unwanted compressors and exciter. And let's listen to that now in context with the left and right guitars and see what it sounds like. So we'll solo that out and we'll just have those. So let's have a listen to that. Now the first thing I notice is there's a lot more low end in that sound compared to to my version of it so let's just take a listen to my version the original eq'd version and listen to that now so you can definitely tell the difference in there mine is a lot thinner which on its own doesn't sound as good but in the context of the mix to my ears just sounds a little bit better so what i'll do is i'll play mine in the full context so that's the whole mix and we'll just mute out the other tracks so we're just going to listen to my version my eq applied in the context of the whole song now bear in mind this is just an early mix so don't get too bent out of shape if it doesn't sound amazing but it should give you some idea of what it sounds like with the eq that's being applied via neutron so let's take a listen to that So there we go, that's Neutron running its EQ curve and what it considers to be a good starting point for my guitar tracks. So you tell me, what do you think? Which do you think sounds better? I know which I personally prefer. And like I say, these are just starting points when it runs through Neutron through the Assistant. But it's interesting to see that there's not a massive difference between the two EQ curves. And the difference in tone compared to the fact that it's meant to be used as part of an overall mix. So anyway, have a listen to it. Tell me what you think of it in the comment section below. Let me know if you think that Neutron is doing a good or a bad version of the EQ on there for this particular bit of guitar track. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's something that you'll take on board if you consider buying Neutron. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, pop them in the comment section below. And like I say, give us your feedback. Let me know what you think of what is being done to the audio. Anyway, until next time, happy mixing.